everyone and welcome back to my pet rescue story in Animal World 3D. And we are back here because I've really missed taking care of the little animals and I wanted to jump right in and just see how everyone's doing. Oh, and look at all the little bunnies. Look at the little bunnies. Oh, we need to go over and take care of everyone right away and see how many adoptions we can start. Morning, shall we get going? Raphael, oh, I think we have another turtle. Missy, Tara, Toby, Ramina, Harry, Maisie, Maisie? Jack, Hugo, Salem have arrived today. It's nice that you're here. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. All right, so we're doing pretty good with organization, care, adoption, slowly climbing up on all those things. Let's dive into this. And we've actually got a lot of points. Uh, in fact, let's take just a second to look through things. I have finally managed to reach the point where we can have the pond. So we have 50 adoption points. Let's go ahead and just bring in the pond. Why not spend all of our adoption points at once? Now, where's my pond? Oh! <gasps> Look how pretty it is! Oh, I would love to bring people by the pond on the way to like take care of all of the animals. That is just awesome! Alright, well let's take care of our little horse first because I want to see if anyone's going to adopt furry today. Uh, and I, he's just so big, I just feel like we really need to tend to his his little enclosure. Hey furry, how are you doing today? Let's clean up your hay, let's get you some fresh food. Oh, apparently I'm I'm cuddling him. I didn't mean to cuddle him, but I'm not gonna complain because he's adorable. All right, so let's see, how's your, whoops, okay, I'm cuddling him again. Actually, believe it or not, you adorable little thing, I was trying to, I was actually trying to like look at your little chart. Can I, ah, there we go. Okay, so definitely needs a bit more food. And let's go ahead, a bit more food, good. And then a little bit of coat care. So let's come in and brush you. Oh, look at how happy he is. There we go. And we have a super happy bowl. All right, and we'll open up his enclosure so he can go out to play. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, let's put these down. Good, good, good. And then let's see, let's do the dogs next because I really feel like dog um, kennels can stink really quickly. True, true, true. I really feel like dog can kennels stink really, really quickly. So we need to come in. Oh look, Oscar, Missy, Jack, Buster. Hello everyone! And let's scrub these clean ASAP because believe it or not, it is super important for the actual kennel. All right, need to get confidence and coat care up on you. All right, really quickly, I'm gonna give you a little brushing. But it is so important to keep the kennels and enclosures of animals clean and looking great, not only for their own health, but when you're trying to adopt an animal out, it can actually have a huge effect on what people think about the animal, on how clean its enclosure is, or what they look like, or how they're presented. All right, confidence is really low on Buster here, so we should probably give him a good snuggle later. Okay, his food's decent. And coat care, let's give him a little brushing really quickly. And we'll snuggle with you puppies in just a moment, okay? There we go, I wanna get your coat looking really nice. But yeah, it's so important to make sure that you have the enclosures looking really great because the nicer your facility looks and the nicer the animals look, the more people are going to be more likely to want to take them home. Oh, and Missy, you're brand new. Oh, and she's really skinny. So I'm probably thinking worms. Let's go ahead and take care of her. So hi, Missy, and let's get your coat brushed. Get all those stick burrs out. I don't know if you guys have ever run into stick burrs but that's what we call these tiny little prickly plants that used to grow where I lived in Texas and they just like catch on everything they catch on your shoelaces they get in your animals fur we had stickabers in Missouri too and they would get in our cats fur all the time all right so go play outside now okay here have another dog treat for more confidence all right yeah we want to get this nice and clean and if you volunteer at a shelter hello Jack oh please play treatment for Jack but if you guys have ever volunteered at a shelter before, then you know how important it is for people not to smell like a lot of dog poop when they come in. You know how important it is for them to be able to look around and the shelter looks really nice and clean and the staff is friendly because they're coming to adopt a new member of their family. So you really need to make sure they have a very good impression of your place and what you do. All right, so there's the puppies. They're all taken care of. We should have people pouring in any minute now. And then the other thing, oh, Speak of speak of the devil. All right, let's put these away cleaning sets. Um, hang on ma'am. I'll be with you in just one moment 
I've already got a lovely male cat at home, but he doesn't seem as active as he could be. I was thinking of getting another cat. Have you got one that gets on well with other cats? Do we ever? And I was actually thinking the next spot we should go is actually the cats, because those stinky litter boxes are another thing that can kind of put people off from wanting to adopt animals. So let's dive on in. Killian, hey, and I'm gonna discreetly change your litter box really fast. You're such a handsome kitty. And then let's feed you and put some water down. All right, and then all right, let's get the weight up a little bit. So ma'am, I think that this would be the perfect cap for you, Mr. Killian here. All right, he actually, he kind of needed that much food. All right, and then let's come in. And I'm gonna give him a little brushing. Look at the little white tips on his ears. I love that, I love that so much. All right, Killian, I think this is your big day. You go and have fun with her other cat, okay? All right, here you go, ma'am. Oops, what? We need to care for him some more. Uh, 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 Killian? Uh, activity, I guess? Well, okay. I, I could have sworn, I guess maybe Killian's not the cat for her. All right then. Um, well, what about Simba? <laughs> let's, let's take care of Simba. Let's give him a good brushing and then maybe she'll consider Simba. He's a beautiful orange color. Reminds you of like the lions in the movie, you know, looks just like that guy. All right, come on, Simba. Maybe you're the kitty who gets along, like, well with other kitties. Um, yeah, he's doing good. So what do you think, ma'am? What? What? What's going on? I... These cats look perfectly happy to me. Okay, not this one. This is Measy. Vomiting and diarrhea, roundworms. What do you mean more... more care? Like, isn't this... Oh, thank goodness! Okay, I have no idea what that was all about. But we've got the help on Measy taken care of, at least. Alright, let's clean your litter box. Just like with all the other cats, you know, making the area look nice. And doesn't it make you feel good? For those of you who volunteer at shelters, doesn't it make you feel so good when you can make the animal's area nice and clean and you can just, like, improve their well-being? That has always been one of the things that I have loved the most about working at shelters is the immediate results of your hard work are seen right there. And you know that the animal is going to be happier because of the time that you put in. All right, let's give you a little cat treat. Is there anybody in here? Hello! Salem, you're new. Hi, how are you doing? All right, vomiting and diarrhea, roundworms, which is actually a pretty common problem with cats. And that's because roundworms live in all of those little prey items that cats like to eat. So if you have a cat, I'm going to give you a little more food. Just in case. Okay, then it should be alright. But yeah, if you have a cat who eats a lot of prey animals out in the wild, then you might want to consider, if you can, trying to keep it in or at least putting a collar with a loud bell on the cat because that will prevent it from being able to hunt as actively. And some people might be like, oh, but my cat loves hunting. Yeah, but those prey animals carry so many dangerous diseases that your cat can get that can make it very sick or even kill it. So if your cat has food, not to mention the devastation it does to the ecosystem, but if your cat has food, it might be a good idea to make sure that it can't hunt too actively because there's diseases, there's ecosystem damage, there's a lot of issues with letting cats devastate like natural populaces of animals. All right, I'd love to have a dog, but my wife wants a cat. We can't agree. What kind of pet should we have? Something completely different maybe? Oh, do I ever have some beautiful birds for you, sir? Let's see if he'll take a bird. So, all right, because if his wife wants a cat, maybe she wants something that's kind of like you know, pays attention or really bonds with you. Can you, can you let her, what are you doing? There we go. Oh, jeez. All right, and let's grab the bird food. So something completely, or maybe a horse. <laughs> I don't think a horse. I don't think it'll take very. All right. Hi, everybody. Noisy as usual, I see. Oh, you're new. Tara, not examined yet. Oh, holding a wing. Uh-oh. Holding a wing, funky. All right, let's go ahead. And do you need more food? Just a little bit more food. So not Tara, uh, but what about Ellie here? Ella is very pretty, so what do we do? Let's try this. What do you think, sir? Uh, not suitable. I was really hoping he would take the bait and like adopt Ella. But he's not, he's not into the birds. All right, something completely different. I, maybe it's worth it to try out. All right, let's see. You doing good here, Coco? All right, Coco's doing good. All right, you're doing good. Let's take care of you too. And the other thing with the big birds is you really have to stay on top. Let's see, more feathers are laying at the base of the pen than normal, and the bird has a spot on the stomach where you can see red and skin. All right, we need to double check that there's nothing wrong with the health of the bird. All right, I'll give you a little bit more food, just a teeny bit. 
so that it'll stop its feather pulling because that can be very devastating behavior. We've talked about that before. The devastating emotional behavior that can be. Okay, do you want a horse? Something completely different? A horse? What do you think? Uh, all right, maybe he wants a, a guinea pig. What about a guinea pig? All right, let's try out the guinea pigs. Maybe that's what he's looking for. All right, something completely different. Or maybe, maybe one of the reptiles? Um, maybe he is looking for one of the reptiles. So let's actually grab the reptile food and litter and let's go take care of our reptiles. I was really hoping he'd take a bird or a horse. All right, so we've got Gary. What about a snake? Maybe he's really into snakes. All right, let's clean the reptile litter and the food. Oh, we have a hungry snake in here. I just fed him pretty good yesterday too. All right, what about, what about him? Ugh. Okay, so he's not looking for a snake. Let's go back to a guinea pig. Or what about a bunny? Maybe he's looking for a bunny. All right, maybe that's it. What about Biscuit? Uh, what do you think? Ah, okay, I'm not getting this at all. Okay, let's try the guinea pigs. All right. Hey, Freddy, how you doing? You need a little bit of guinea pig food, huh? All right, what do you think, sir? Freddy? Oh my gosh, this man. Ah, uh, he, said, he said he didn't want like a cat. Well, I'm going to try offering him a cat and just see what you think of that. What about Killian? There. You said something completely different and all you wanted was a cat. I feel so gypped. Oh, well. All right, let's take care of the little guinea pigs really quickly. We're doing pretty good today on taking care of the animals at least. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's about time for a lunch break, actually. Um, let's go ahead. A little more guinea pig food. Let's finish taking care of the guinea pigs. All right, let's see. A little bit of weight on those guinea pigs. There we go. There. So we've got you guys taken care of. Oh, this is a guinea pig that hasn't been examined yet. Ah, uh, it looks like the teeth are over long. Time for a teeth trimming. Remember, you guys, it's very, very important to make sure your guinea pigs have enough of those hard chew toys that they can, they can get their teeth worn down. Same thing with hamsters and same thing with bunnies. You want to make sure that you have lots of those toys, not just because it's good to provide your animals with toys, but because it is vital for helping them to keep their teeth properly worn down. Oh, hello, ma'am. All right, so let's see what she would like. Uh, just give me one second, ma'am. I'm going to put away the guinea pig food and litter really quickly. All right, I'm looking for a nice small dog that will help keep me fit. I love being outdoors and going for long walks. A dog would be ideal, wouldn't it? Yes, that's, that's true, 77-year-old woman. Oh my gosh, she is like up there. All right, well, what about Oscar? Uh, more care and attention. Oscar, uh, okay, confidence. Let's give Oscar a cuddle. All right, what do you think, ma'am? What do you think? Oscar, Oscar's the one, isn't he? Yeah, Oscar's the one. I guess the dogs needed a little bit more cuddling. I don't mind cuddling the dogs. Okay, we'll cuddle the dogs and then take a lunch break. And then when we come back, we'll see if we can get more animals for adoption. I'm so excited that- Oh, look at the puppies playing in the background. Isn't that just so much fun? All right, let's cuddle with the puppies. Cuddle with the puppies. Hi. Whoops. All right, went to Missy. Okay, she needs a little more confidence too, but how's your confidence now? Are you confident you need a little teeny bit more? I wish I had brought my dog toy, or my little dog toys and my dog treats. All right, but cuddles are good too. So we're gonna give you some cuddles. Come here, come here. There we go. All right, yeah, some puppy cuddles. And this is actually another important thing for volunteering is getting dogs and cats used to being around people, used to being handled. Oh, hello, ma'am. My husband really wants to give me a dog as a present, but I'm worried he'll make the wrong choice. Oh, well, what do you think about Missy? Okay, Missy needs more care and attention. What do you think about good old Buster here? Yeah? Boom. Oh, yeah. There we go. So how's Missy doing her health? That's because we just started treating her health. And Jack here is in treatment for having fleas, so we'll give him a little petting carefully. But yeah, very important to get the dogs and cats used to being around people. All right, is that good, Jack? All right, oh, okay. we'll give you another little snuggle. Another little snuggle. Oh, yeah, are you so happy? Isn't he a pretty dog? All right, there we go. All right, so now let's take a quick little lunch break. Let everybody run around. We still have hamsters to take care of. I still need to clean the bunny, bunny pens, too. Oh, my goodness. But all right, guys, we're doing pretty good. And do you guys have... Oh, my gosh, the birds are so noisy. And if you guys have any fun adoption or volunteering stories, please share them with us. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.